Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today I'm playing Blue White Familiars and I'm going to be playing a list that's based around Murmuring Mystic. People really like Murmuring Mystic. It's really sweet to put a ton of birds in play. It's sweet to play with Meaning of Minds. So I built this list to try to build it around playing Murmuring Mystic. So what we're doing is we're cutting to 18 lands. I went to three Ash Barons, three Chanceries. I added one Fetch Land. And then the rest is pretty standard with the Singleton Floodplain, Islands, Plains, Singleton Mortuary Mire, and the Lorien Revealed here is sort of part of our mana base where we can cycle to get the Glacial Floodplain. But we're playing 8 cantrips with 4 Ponder, 4 Preordain, and that can really power out tokens with our Murmuring Mystic because it says whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a 1-1 bird illusion creature token with flying. And then we can actually tap those birds with Meaning of Minds to keep pumping out more birds, which is pretty sweet. Uh, in order to support this, I've got the four Faithfuls, four Familiars, and then the one Dawnbringer Cleric as my remove enchantment of choice because it's a creature and can help cast Medium Minds. But Medium Minds being an instant, we can also kind of like hold up mana on our opponent's turn and use counter spells. We decided to go with two counter spell one, and one lose focus in the main deck today. And then, because we have the Murmuring Mystic as the win condition, I'm just playing two Archaea Mancers. Hopefully with the eight cantrips, we can find them a lot faster. I've got our classic Mole Drifter and Lorien Revealed, of course, on the top end. And then my Flicker effects is just two Ephemerate and one Flicker. Uh, pretty excited to pump out some birds. I, I tried this in a league and it was pretty fun. So in the sideboard here, we have three Nature's Chant because of blue-white affinity. We have five Hydroblast effects with Hydroblast and Blue Elemental Blast for red decks. Uh, red has not gone anywhere. I have two more Counterspell because I think this is the best answer to stuff like Ponza. Uh, one more Loose Focus. I just like having a lot of interaction for Emblem effects and Ponza stop nonsense. Then we also have two Circle of Protection Blue for Terror. One Destroy Evil that can be used for Terror as well as other decks like... Uh, Blue White Affinity or Bogles and stuff. And then Last Breath here, which I can be I can use for walls or for fairies. So that's the deck. If you enjoy watching uh, popper content, definitely like and subscribe. Gonna be trying out some of the uh, well placing challenge decks as well, just to get some variety in in the coming weeks. And uh, make sure to check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash Kellyguys, where I have uh, primers and sideboard guides and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's go to the matches. We're here in round one versus Luminani. Who loves to play Affinity. Rustvale Bridge, so this is probably the Jess guy uh, Affinity deck. We'll go Faithful Pass. Of course, they could be on Jess guy Ephemerate, so we don't necessarily want to run out the Chancery right away until we see what the rest of their lands look like. Vault of Whispers, Makeshift Munitions. I think I'm going to play, well, just play the Chancery here. It is a tap land, got to get that into play. Don't really have anything to do. I'm not going to attack with my Faithful just to send a message. <laughs> and looks like Mardu Synthesizer maybe. If I play the Familiar, it's probably going to die. But then they won't have a removal spell for the Drifter. Can always shoot the drifter with the makeshift munitions. I can go familiar ponder or hold up counter spell. They haven't played any stuff to do or any can they haven't played any birds or anything or anything to pick the up with the birds, so I think I'm just gonna use my mana this turn, go ponder. Ooh. Let's take uh all of these cards and then play the familiar. Pass the turn. So this next turn I can go Drifter Ephemerate. They can kill it with the makeshift munitions if they want. Okay, never mind. They kill my familiar with the Galvanic Blast. Now I can Drifter Ephemerate and see what happens. Or I can play Arcane Answer for Ponder. Arcane Answer for Ponder might be fine enough because then I can go Drifter... Nah. Four lands in play for our opponent. Three cards in hand. Plays a Clark Clan Shaman. Sure. You know, Deadly Dispute it. Okay. They're just looking for cards. I guess I might as well leave up a counterspell now. Meh. 
Let's just drift drift them, right? Seem like they're stuck doing nothing. Now, Mardu Synthesizer is a lot easier to face than random affinity builds. Let's go ahead and draw some cards. Now, they can sacrifice a land, or two lands, to take this out, or sacrifice a treasure for a removal spell. They don't do anything. So, we're going to pass. Looks like we have to get rid of a card. I think maybe just lose focus here. My plan is to put some Faithfuls into play, and then uh, hold up a Counterspell or something. We'll see what what happens. We have a Deadly Dispute. I guess eventually my Dawn Warrior Cleric can take out the Makeshift Munitions. Sort of expect them to try to kill the Mold Drifter here. Cleansing Wildfire. Mm, nice. Opponent is a man of taste, I guess. Mardu Wildfire stuff? Hmm. So maybe this is the Initiative Wildfire deck. We'll draw even more cards. Okay, so we play the Faithful. We can play the Brokers. Grab an Island. And then pass the turn. I think here I just swing out with my Faithful. And then discard my Preordain. Sending a message. I don't have any idea what they're doing. Is there a Mardu Glitters deck? <laughs> Glinthawk. Sure. I'm gonna pick up a land. It'd be funny to like if I just snap the Glinthawk. I can also cast End Step Meeting of Minds. Let's do that. Draw some cards. Now I'm looking for my Murmuring Mystic. I have to do Chancery Familiar. You got more Cleansing Wildfires? Who knows? Let's play this familiar. Play the island. I can hold up counterspell for the wildfire. Go ahead and snap that Glenhawk back. Maybe they will deadly dispute it. Fanatical offering. Hmm. Okay. All right. So snap is going to fizzle. Then I attack with a multi-drifter. Two damage. Bam. Okay, you're at 18. Let's start building up a clock here. Okay, opponent untaps. Hiding Blade. Okay, let's just counterspell it. It's kind of annoying. Just get rid of it forever. No thanks. That gives them stuff to pick up with their birds. Blood Fountain to get back the Glinthawk and the Quark Clan Shaman. So I can just play the Arcane Answer. Hmm. One, two, three. So I can get back the Core Clan Shaman now. Hmm. I think I Arcane Answer for Counterspell. Just to be able to Counterspell the Quark. Okay, now I have... I can play Familiar, Arcane Answer. Or I can play Arcane Answer for the Ephemerate, but they have the Makeshift Munitions in play, so that makes me not want to do that. Let's just go Arcane Mancer. Hmm. Arcane Mancer for Ephemerate, or for uh, Counterspell, sorry. And then I'm going to play the Chancery on the uh, Plains. Chancery on the Plains. And then attack for two again. This next turn, we can cast another Mold Drifter. Still holding up Counterspell. Sunscape Familiar plus Mold Drifter as well, actually, next turn, still with holding up Counterspell. And I think that they're just going to go ahead and get back the Quark and the Glenhawk. Okay, it looks like they're passing the turn. Let's go land. Familiar. Do do doot. Here's a Mold Drifter. Alrighty. And then we can attack for a bunch. Just three. Not really a bunch. With a bunch of creatures, though. I like just doing right click attack all. Saves a little bit of time. Those microseconds matter here. <laughs> We're going to Blood Token, Discarding of Planes, and go ahead and grab back the Quark and the Glenhawk. That's pretty expected. Plays an Icker Wellspring. Okay. I think I'm just going to Counterspell the Quark. I know they're getting value out of their Glenhawk and everything. See how much mana they have left over. Because if they don't have that much mana, we can try to... Uh, Snap the Arcane Answer to get back Ephemerate for Counterspell. And then they kind of have to, like, use stuff on it. Glinthawk again. Okay. So let's draw. 
Hmm. I guess at this point I'm trying to find my Murmuring Mystic. Let's preordain. Drifters, but good. I think I can bottom the land. Go ahead and cast a Drifter. Meeting of Minds, okay. Let's cast the Meeting of Minds. Draw some cards. Hmm. Ponder. Go looking for a Mystic. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm going to take the Meeting of Minds. Wait. Okay, the Meeting of Minds is on top. <laughs> that was confusing for a second. Um, play the Island. Let's go ahead and pass the turn. We could have attacked with the Moldrifters and then gotten back the uh, Mortuary Mire. It's a little bit concerning that they have Wildfires, though. So maybe like putting the Mortuary Mire into play is kind of sketch. We lost one Chancery. One, one Chancery left in the deck. Kixian Infiltrator I'm not worried about. 41 life. And another Faithful in Hand. A Thraven Inspector. Okay, what do you got? They're not going to attack. Right now they have four men available. They're going to explore. Let's, uh... Hmm. Fine. They get a Vault of Whispers. It's Meeting of Minds. So we're going to draw the two lands that we knew about. Trying to get to the point where I can get my ephemerate going. Okay, Domerian Cleric. There we go. Cleric. Go ahead and blast this uh, makeshift munitions. And then snap back my Arcane Answer. Pick that guy up, or the lady. Play the Arcane Answer. We can get the ephemerate. We'll go ahead and ephemerate the Arcane Answer. Getting the medium mines. Or a snap. Guess a snap. With the one counter spell still in hand. Let's snap the infiltrator. Untap some lands. Draw three cards over here. Do to do. Where is it? Okay, we have infinite life, I guess. Hmm. I'll just play this floodplain. And then pass a the turn. Could discard one faithful. I suppose I should just be attacking into the Glinthawks. I guess they're probably looking for a second, um, a second Krark here. The Reckoner's Bargains are going to draw three cards. They've got seven mana available right now. Another Munitions. Okay. Krark Clan Shaman. That's going to eat a Counterspell. Let's see what they do. Hmm. Okay, we're going to attempt to ephemerate. Get back the ephemerate. Go ahead and ephemerate the Dawn Marrier Cleric to blow up the munitions. We're going to shoot it once. Okay. So they made a little bit of a mistake here because they put that on the stack. Nap the Dawn Marrier Cleric. All right. Untap these. Munitions is going to fizzle. Play the cleric again, blowing up the munitions. Now I can get rid of the cleric in the graveyard. Let's flicker here. Get back flicker. Exile the cleric. That's just for safety. <clears throat> Let's uh, go ahead and attack. All right, they are trading. We are going to get back the mold thrifter. I can flicker here, and then I get back the Mold Drifter. I'm going to go ahead and get Ephemerate here. Uh, ephemerate. Grab the Flicker. We drew the Murmuring Mystic, so now I'm just going to play the Murmuring Mystic and make a bunch of birds. Here's the birdies. Welcome to Birdie Town. The problem with this combo is just so many triggers. Flickering away. I mean, if you look at the clock, it's definitely a lot of time usage already. All right, let's just pass. Uh, I could also just flicker right now and then get back Counterspell. Let's flicker here. Draw some cards. And then I'm going to grab the Counterspell. All right. Uh, they scoop it up. Sure. I assume that they probably had another uh, Card Clan Shaman they're going to try to play. 
So we can get rid of the loose focus. I like to go double hydro, double counter spell in these kinds of matchups. And then I think I'm just going to trim one ponder, but it could also be a snap. Last breath can take care of their birds. You can cut one snap for last breath, just cut one ponder. Submit. Oh, I forgot they have relic. So I probably want the nature's chant over the cleric. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, this hand is fine. Turn one tap land, cycle for an island, and then start cantripping away. Your opponent leaves on a Rustvale bridge. Find another ephemerate, which is not super good here. Looking for lands. They're going to play a cleansing wildfire on their own land. They're ramping. Question that I have in my mind is whether or not they are playing Ardent Elementalist because that could help them get back the wildfires. I'm going to ponder here looking for lands. I don't see lands, so I'm going to any order shuffle. Found a land. Wellspring for the opponent. They're probably going to play a bird. No bird. Plays a star. That's preordained. Nature's Chant and an island. I guess they're both good. Just don't really know when I'm going to need that chant. I assume at some point. Hmm. Okay, let's top both again. Pass the turn. So we are set up to do Drifter Ephemerate, or we can Arcane Answer back a Preordain. But given that we only have two Arcane Answers in the deck, maybe it's not that great. Hmm, Infiltrator. I see, I see. Let's go ahead and Mancer back a Preordain. We're going to Red Blast me. I wonder what would happen if I lost all my Mancers. That'd be sad. <laughs> Hard to win the game. Our, our opponent's going to just start jamming with this Infiltrator. So I kind of need a snap here. Forgot about the Infiltrator, so that's a reason to keep the snaps in. And they're cycling their stars, making their thing a 4-3. Cool. Glenhawk, pick up the Wellspring. There's the Wellspring again. Yeah, I shouldn't... Should be on snaps. Land, so they've got... Eh, nothing. There's a Krark. Okay, so I'm looking for Drifter Ephemerate into a snap. Let's go evoke this. Looking for a snap off the top. No snap. Let's go ahead and Ephemerate. All right, we find a medium mines. Doesn't help that much. Ponder. Um, I'm gonna shuffle this. Find a last breath. I think I have to discard the. I think it's going to be the last breath. So right now they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is going to be 9, 10, 11. There's a Wellspring. That's 12 damage now. So dead to a Galvanic off the top. 13 damage. 14 damage. 15. 16 damage. So now I have to block with the Muldrifter. And now I'm just dead. I guess we have to... Yeah, they see the, they see the line. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, I'm just going to move on. My opponent knows what they're doing. Let's get rid of the nature's chant. Get rid of the last breath at a minimum. Bring the snap back in. Maybe I don't need that many counter spells. That's just like the end game lock, right? So I don't need the counter spells. Just three hydros. Bring the Dawnbringer cleric in too. A life gain spell, a blocker, way to deal with the munitions. So what's happening here? I guess I'm keeping this, and then I'm going to go cycle for the dual land. I also have Hydroblast for their wildfire. Get a cycle. Grab my dual land. My turn. We'll go ahead and pass. Plays a chromatic star. That's it? They miff whiffed on a land, huh? Okay. That's good for me. I'm gonna cycle for an island. And then play land and sunscape. So I've got I've got myself covered if they have a removal spell. Cracking for red. Plays another star. Oh man. They are just whiffing on lands. Bad news for them. 
play Arcane Answer to get back the Loring revealed. Pass the turn. I think they're just dead. Dead, dead, dead. I will take it. Cracks are red again. Looking for that wildfire. All they need is an untapped land, but instead they just have nothing. Let's go to round two. Round two or versus Sorceress Queen, who likes to play Infect. Let's see if that's what she's on today. Looks like it. Arbor Elf. No. Please don't ponza me. Oh my god. This is the worst timeline. Okay, let's go ahead and grab an island, I guess. Pass the turn. Okay, our opponent attacks for some reason. We'll block. Play land, pass the turn. Okay, we're looking for another land here so we can cast our medium mines. I really need to get the island so that this counter spell can be used. We could snap the Arbor Elf, but I don't think that really does anything. Right now they have four mana if they use the Arbor Elf. They didn't play anything last turn. Okay, they're tapping their mana. Three, four mana. I'm just going to yield to the Arbor Elf. They play a Thermokarst or Acid Moss, so just Counterspell. I mean, I'm set up post board maybe because I have the four Counterspell plus the two uh, other things. So anything, okay. I can go Sunscape Familiar, go ahead and snap the Arbor Elf, play Faithful, then I can cast Medium Mines. Snap this thing. Maybe I can draw into Drifter Ephemerate. Faithful. Let's cast this. At least we can get by in a little, a few resources here. All right. Unfortunately, we draw a Chancery. So we could play the Chancery. They've already used two land destruction spells. Playing the Thermo, the Arbor Elf again. So I can't cast the Lorien Revealed, and they bolt my Familiar. So there's really nothing to do here. Let's play Meeting of Minds. I'm gonna draw Basics. Another familiar uh so i can don't really have any good options i think i'm gonna chancery back the planes pass the turn hopefully they don't have another land destruction spell but i guess they're just doing nothing if they do that okay they're gonna attack it looks like for one and then we can we have don Marie or cleric if they have any sort of uh, Utopia Sprawl or anything. I think I Mortuary Mire back the Familiar. That way I can play Familiar and cast the Lauren Revealed next turn. Okay, they have a four mana spell it looks like. Nothing. Okay. Cycles of Generous End. So that's what they were tapping for. Gets a Highland Forest. Next turn they're going to have five mana. They didn't play the Highland Forest. They must be really sleepy or something. Let's play Sunscape Familiar. Pass the Lorien Revealed. Draw three cards. Find a Meeting of Minds. So we can play the Flood Plane. I think I'm just doing that. The reason is just getting more blue sources on the table, and then my next turn I'll have a lot more. I mean, like, I could cast the Meeting of Minds this turn, but I don't think it's going to help that much. They have Utopia Sprawl, so the Zarmer Cleric is going to eat the Utopia Sprawl next turn. But they have four or five mana right now, so they can cast the Initiative. And they still haven't played the Highland Force that they searched up. Here comes the Initiative. Cool. So I am looking for my Murmuring Mystic so I can just start churning out some birds. I want to go to Bird Value Town. Come on. Plays a Snow Covered Forest. All right, um, what's the meeting of minds? Draw two. I should have tapped it right there. That was a mistake. Snap doesn't do anything. Let's ponder. Snap can do something next turn, maybe. Where is my mystic? Okay, mold drifters are great. So let's go ahead and play Darmory or Cleric. Destroy the Utopia Sprawl. They don't have any red mana right now. So I can evoke the Drifter. The I can just snap the Drifter or I can Ephemerate. I can Ephemerate this Drifter, snap this Arbor Elf, and then play another Drifter. That sounds pretty good. Ephemerate here. 
Bam. Don't really want to snap the Avenging Hunter because I'll just give them more uh, initiative triggers. Vines of Vastwood. Whatever. It's a strange thing to play in Ponza. Gotta do what we gotta do. Alright. So now we can tap for three again and just play my Moldrifter. I don't understand that one. That's cool. They did say they're playing for fun. Alright, your turn. The opponent's going to take the initiative. So they get to make their Avenging Hunter bigger. Right now they have 5 mana. So they can't currently cast any sort of reach creature. Because everything costs 6 or 7 that are reach creatures. So now they have 5 mana, 6 mana on the table. They could play a Generous Ent. Looks like they're going to cast a boarding party, revealing a Utopia Sprawl. I'm simply not going to block him at 37 life. They choose red. Will you attack? Swings for seven. Okay. So now we can attack and take the initiative, and then we can block this with the double faithful or really whatever. Uh, let's just play the Mold Drifter first. See what I find. All right. Step one, attack. We're going to grab our island with the Undercity trigger. Grab the island. Play an island. I'll play another Moldrifter. Now I'm holding up Lose Focus. So if they play a 7 drop or whatever and don't have extra mana, I can just Lose Focus it. I can get rid of the Chancery, the Fetch. That should be enough. I can block here. I can block this. Next turn I can make the Faithful Gigantic. 4 mana, 7 mana, Altasaur. You're going to be kind of disappointed here, my man. Finds a Scred. Well, guess what? Lose focus with Replicate. Yeah. That feels good. Okay, counter the Scred and the Altasaur. This is a 7 6 right now, so I can't do anything about it. I can double block with Moldrifter and Cleric to kill the boarding party. Double block here. Okay, block everything. No initiative for you. Now I get to get forged. Forge up. Make this thing bigger. I don't want to put it on the mold drifter because I might want to flicker those later. Another faithful. I can preordain. Looking for birdies. Arcane or meaning of mines. Find an ephemerate. Okay, top these. Arcane answer for the ephemerate. Let's attack. Bam bam. So what do I want to do with my ephemerate right now? Uh, I think I'm just going to get cards. Ephemerate for blockers. Preordain. Where's my birdies? Let's bottom top the ponder. We can meaning of mines here. Draw two. So much life. Okay, Ephemerate again. And another Mold Drifter. I think I'm just going to cast a Mold Drifter. Counterspell. Well, we have defense. Now that I have Counterspell in hand, I can Ephemerate and snap this and then counter it later. Especially with the second Ephemerate. Well, unfortunately, our opponent uh, DC'd, so. We'll go on to round three. Okay, round three. Sounds pretty decent. Let's keep it. All right, pass the turn. And we're going to grab an island. Turn two, we can cantrip, play the chancery. And then uh, we can maybe play the mystic. We can go familiar snap mystic. Then soon cast meeting of minds. Just depends on what our opponent's up to. Seagate on white, so they are on Cogate. Can play the Chancery out after tapping the land. Pick up the island and ponder. Wow, okay, so we're gonna go off now. Let's keep all these things. Put the medium mines on the bottom. No shuffle. I guess it depends on what our opponent's gonna do. Play Sacred Cat, this is good for me. Land. Play a familiar. Okie dokie. We'll snap the cat. 
and then put the Marine Mystic into play. Pass the turn. We only have one, two, three mana towards the Meeting of Mines, because one, two, and then discount. So we can't cast the Meeting of Mines right now. Worst case scenario is that if they have Journey to Nowhere at the moment, plays the Modern Age. So I would expect that they discard the cat and then reanimate it. Discards the strands. Looks like they're gonna just play the cat then. Okay. All right, so the first thing I can do is just go faithful. Okay. Cast the meaning of mines. Floating a blue. So we get a bird. Draw two cards. Let's ponder. Because if I find a snap, I can play Arcane Mancer. Uh, okay, I'll take this. And then I'm going to preordain. Oh, I have the Mancer now. Let's preordain past the lands. <laughs> now it's happening. Then play a land. Go to cast Medium Mines. And draw two again. Oh man. Snap the bird. This is wild. Wow. Okay. Play our cam answer. Grab the meeting of mines. Cast meeting of mines again. Wow. We're certainly doing things. Okay, your turn. <laughs> that was sweet. Uh that was definitely sweet. Is that why you have to just play Meeting Minds and uh, Murring Mystic in your deck for these moments? Wow. Our opponent's like, uh, okay, loot. <laughs> oh, man. Get him Don Murray Claire, kill the Modern Age. Got too many options now. Okay. And they discarded Modern Age. They're going to journey the Mystic. Darn. Oh no, but I have Don Marion Cleric. Ha ha ha. So they journey the Arcane Mancer. I can just Don Marion Cleric it back. But they could. Okay, they're gonna Modern Age. Pass the turn. I can cleric <laughs> I can cleric the the journey. Get back the meaning of mines. Cast meaning of mines again. Dang. Meaning of mines in hand. <laughs> Going off. Okie dokie. Don Marion Cleric. We'll go ahead and destroy that enchantment, which gets me back my meaning of mines. A little attack with everything, except for my white creatures. All right, meaning of mines. Draw some cards. We can meaning of mines again as well if we really want to. Let's preordain. And we're going off. Uh, faithful, I don't need. This focus is okay. Let's cast Meaning of Minds again. Draw more cards and make more birds. Another Murring Mystic. Hmm. Okay, I think I'll just preordain here. I can hold up Loose Focus for a 4-drop. Don't think they're going to have any 4-drop, but... I don't really need land here. Okay, pass the turn. Do we just win next turn? We can Loose Focus the Prismatic Strands. Hmm. So let's say they cast a uh, Squadron Hawk here, try to lose focus it. We have a lot of birds. Don Marion or Cleric to do what? Get rid of a card in the graveyard? Gain some life? They're going to get rid of a snap. Well, I have a second snap in the graveyard, so that doesn't matter that much. We have six, seven, eight, nine, ten attackers. We get a cat back. Well... Okay, let's draw for turn. I guess I could cycle for a land. Hmm. Just take a draw. Let's ephemerate the arcane answer. Probably should have played the second mystic first. Go ahead and grab a snap. They cast the prismatic strands. Okay, I'll just counter. Not like I'm winning this turn anyway, but it's kind of not that big of a deal to counter here. They scoop it up. I did win this turn. Nice. So, uh, that was good. <laughs> uh, let's see. The only thing I'm concerned about is potentially a relic. Don Marion Cleric was pretty good. 
Destroy evil can be decent. I might just dis get rid of a faithful for a chant. We have a lot of cantrips to find our faithful. They're relatively slow. But I'm going to get rid of one counterspell for one loose focus. So I can have a one man interaction. This hand is pretty medium, but we have turn three, familiar snap, drifter, ephemerate. So I can keep this. Playing planes on turn one is not really where you want to be. But if I find a way to get a different colored land into play, I'll play that. They play Citadel Gate on blue. So we can just cycle here for an island. Pass the turn. It's not like holding up the planes does anything. So might as well just do it right now. Okay. Play a Seagate. I think I just jammed the familiar then. Reordain for the opponent. Four cards in hand. They're going to go up to five. They choose red on the Seagate. Darn. They've got Pyroblast in their deck. I mean, it's relatively expected, right? Let's play the familiar. Maybe they journey the familiar. Yep. Okay, so play a land. Hmm. All right. So in order, <laughs> in my attempt to just not discard the hand size, I left myself open to getting journeyed there. Could have just discarded the snap or the ephemerate to hand size. So now I'm open for, okay, they don't have it. I was a little bit concerned that they would have Guardian right now. Hoping they just play a two drop and I drift or ephemerate. Like if they play a bird, Squadron Hawk, then I can snap the Squadron Hawk and drift or ephemerate plus hold up ephemerate. Okay, three mana. Interesting. Why are they leaving a white open? That feels like a mistake. Maybe they have mana tithe. Oh no, Sacred Cat. Okay, okay. Fair enough. So I'm going to snap the cat, I guess. Does it matter? I want to snap the Squadron Hawk because it costs them more mana. And then we will evoke the Drifter. Draw two. Ooh, darn. Ephemerate the Drifter. Draw two again. I think I'm going to discard... I guess it's going to be a Preordain. Maybe a snap. I think it's going to be a snap here. So if they have... Probably gonna gate the cat and attack. Because so they want to get this life gain in. Plays a squadron hawk. So they already got all their hawks. So they're just gonna fail to find here. Or not even search. Decides not to search. They're gonna build up the cat. So what do I want to do? I can block an ephemerate. Then I draw four cards at the beginning of next turn. Is that too many cards? Uh, I'm gonna say no. It's not too many cards. Just ephemerate again. Bam. We have the snap in hand. Okay, let's see what can happen. Draw two. And draw two again. <laughs> draw two. Okay, where are we at? Play familiar. Go ahead and snap the hawk. One tap, one tap. Let's preordain. Trying to find the arcane answer. Bottom of the lands. Preordain in again, or just jam a familiar, or mold drifter? Play the mold drifter. Discard this land and this land. And a ponder. And is that it? I guess also the preordain? At this point, at this point, I'm just like slamming cards. Do I even need to cantrip? We are 10 cards ahead of our opponent right now. They've got double basilisk gate. Okay. So they can double gate the cat. Now if they do find a, a guardian, it'll be a big problem for me. Uh oh. Lorien revealed. Okay, that's not a guardian. So they can't attack with the cat. They have eight cards in hand. Everybody's discarding the hand size now. Okay, why am I thinking about cantripping? I just should just play the Moldrifter. Jam. Six cards in hand. Okay. Meaning of mines. Let's just attack, discard the Ponder. We can Meeting of Minds on their turn. Just discarding the Ponder here because I think the Preordain is a little bit better right now. I'm holding all my, all my counter spells. Definitely want to keep the Flicker in hand in case of some Relic happening. Mortuary Mark could maybe happen soon. I can block. Oh, I, hmm. 
And I guess I can block and then cast medium mines. Do do tap for blue. So I still have loose focus in play. And next turn I can just mortuary mire this multi-drifter right back. They could do it, I guess something. Find a snap. Is that useful? Don't think I need that right now. Let the mole drifter die. I can cleric back the familiar, killing the journey. They're leaving up their pyroblast that they don't have in their hand. Okay. Representing counterspell now. Let's mortuary mire back the mole drifter. Play a cleric. We're gonna blow up the journey to nowhere. Okay, the counterspell, I'll just use my one minute interaction with loose focus. Okay. Go ahead and blow up the journey. All right. Hmm. So we know we have a mold drifter on top. Let's draw two. Snap their squadron hawk again. Ponder. There's Archamancer and Murmuring Mystic. Okay. Can I go off this turn? I don't think so. So let's put Land, Mancer, Murmuring Mystic. Go ahead and play the Mystic. And attack. We have Loose Focus, and next turn we make Infinite Birds. And that should be the game. Another Basilisk Gate. Okay, so they already played a Land. They're making the cat big. It's a 6-6. Six, six. I will take the 6. This next turn I go and play a hawk. Hmm. I have to have enough mana to also counterspell what they're doing. I really need another land. Let's draw. Play our cam answer. We'll go ahead and get back ephemerate. We just ephemerate for ephemerate. Make a bird. Dispel. Let's cast... Hmm. Okay, they have a dispel, huh? All right. So I'm going to flicker. I know they have three hawks in hand, so they have one unknown. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get back ephemerate. We ephemerate. Get back the flicker. And now I'm going to make some birds. All right. I've been making birds for a while. I literally have no idea how many birds I made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Twenty-six right now. They're at twenty-five. So we should be okay at this point. Going to attack you. Bam, bam. They're blocking with their squadron hawk. So now I'm just going to flicker the arcane answer and get back snap. Go ahead and snap the Sacred Cat. That way they don't have a way to uh, get at me. Play the Mold Drifter. See if I can find another land. We did. Now we have Loose Focus plus Counterspell. Should have the game here. I probably should have attacked with my Dawnbringer and Mermaid Mystic in that turn as well. They're going to play Alorian Revealed. I'll just Counterspell. Don't really want them to draw into like a Relic, they scoop it up. We have enough birds to win the game on round four. Round four, we're on the play. All right, it's pretty solid. Play floodplain and pass a turn. I mean, it uh, looks kind of sketchy if they do kill the familiar, but if they don't, we have familiar into faithful into medium mines. Planes for the opponent. Familiar, go. Journey to nowhere would be a problem. If I find a untapped land, an untapped land, I can just go Drifter Ephemerate. Ugh, Tithing Blade deck. All right. So if they have Tithing Blade turn two, it's going to be a big deal for me. Because I'm going to run out of lands. Cast down. All right, so now we can see the problem with meeting the mines. is when you don't have enough mana, simply just sit there. All right. We still can't cast it the next turn regardless. Now, of course, we are a cantrip deck. I have eight cantrips uh, and 16 more lands that I could draw. So that's 24 cards off the top. Any of those would be good. Castigate. Are we playing against Pestilence? Come on. 
Probably takes the Arcane Mancer. That makes my life hard. Maybe they just take the Ephemerate. Castigan has been on this deck for two minutes. I'm just gonna... That's very strange. They take the Mole Drifter. That does make sense. But if I find an untapped land, I can cast Medium Mines regardless. <laughs> Pass the turn. So my expectation is play a Guardian. This looks like Pestilence. I just don't really understand why somebody's playing Pestilence right now. You know, they probably just love the deck. Plays a Lembus. Okay. It's, I mean, it could be the Black-White Kitty deck with, like, Glenhawk, Coarse Guy Fisher. Plays another Lembus. So if we... Trying to draw land here still. <sighs> they scried top on the first Lembus and bottom on the second one. Pass the turn again. Okay, so my hand was clearly a problem. Uh, the Mini of Mines. It was so awesome in the previous game, and now it's so terrible. I guess Deep Analysis would also be bad here. Without any sort of uh, Modern Age to pitch it. Four mana. Hopefully they just play a Pestilence. What is this? Uh, okay. Toxic? What? Uh, that's weird. Toxic. What does Toxic do? I don't know. I'm going to snap their token. Pass the turn. Is that the same as poison? Deals. Players dealt damage. You get a poison counter. Okay. I mean, at minimum, we can cast me into mines now, which is good. Arcane Mancer can get back the snap. This toxic thing's weird. I'm just going to cast Medium Mines. Being playing against Black White Poison. What in the world? Okay, we have one poison. We're at 19 life. Seems like a. Okay, we just have to keep playing. Opponent plays a Lembus. I guess if we can get a Mystic in play, we can just block this forever. Can't really snap this because it's just going to come back. Make more toxic y thingies. To put one on top. Okay, maybe I can snap it. Let's get rid of this for the moment. The arcane answer. Get back the snap. Pass the turn. I want to cast down again. The third cast down. Two mana. Place another Lembus. Okay. I guess I would like a try to find a counter spell. They are on a hawk. Just have no idea what the deal is with this poison thing. I guess it's just another thing that they can do. Six. Five. Okay, we can just hard cast this uh, Lorien now. Digging back into the game. Familiar. So we can maybe do some work with that familiar. We can at least cast Medium Mines. So we'll probably tap the Floodplain and the Barons, play the Chancery, play the familiar. We'll have three mana left over. Okay, you have your Toxic thing again. Picks up the Limbus. Yeah, right. Tax for two. We're looking for a Mystic. Plays a couple of Thraben Inspectors. So they've got double Lembus in hand. Play the Familiar. I was just playing the Familiar first, uh, but you should have played the Chancery first in case they had Snuff Out or something, I guess. Although that they can't respond to that, right? So that's all good. Let's cast Meeting of Minds. You can snap the Phyrexian thing. Play another. Hmm. I should probably just pass. Two, three, five, six, seven damage. But next turn after this, we can play the Arcane Answer and then have a bunch of blocks and just keep ephemerating for meeting in mines. Lemus for the opponent. I should yield to that. They're going to hit us down to 10, which is quite a bit of damage. Opponent cast Journey to Nowhere. So, I'm going to Ephemerate in response. Journey Fizzles. They play a Scoured Barons. Still have at least one Lembus in hand. At this rate, our opponent is going to time out, and I won't be able to have enough time to record round five. Okay, let's cycle. Grabbing another island. I guess they gave me a blocker, so I'm only taking six damage now. Now we can ephemerate the Sunscape Familiar. Play Arcane Answer. 
and get the ephemerate. Uh, should not have done it that way because now I'm hmm, going to ephemerate for meaning of mines. Play the island, ponder. I guess I want to snap again, but I don't really want. Okay, all right, there we go. Found the mystic. So all of this is good now. So now I'm just going to hang out. Next turn, play the Mystic. Go for Ephemerates. They're going to draw. Okay. I want to hold up the Flicker so that I can Flicker the Arcane Mancer Island and then cast Medium Mines, maybe. A little bit concerned about them having the Crypt Rats here. They have a Limbus. Let's not block. What I had wanted to do was block and Ephemerate the Arcane Mancer, but I messed up by tapping, like, withholding Ephemerate up. I think they're going to play Suffocating Fumes. They seem to be trying to do something. Oh my god. Come on, opponent. You got this. Four mana. Okay, I don't care about that. Yep. Uh, discard a couple of basics. Plays a Glenhawk. Let's meeting mines. Alright. Draw. We're going to Ephemerate the Arcane Answer. Get back Ephemerate. Play the Murmuring Mystic. Play the Azorus Chancery. Pick up this. You can Ponder. Looking for a Counterspell. Okay, that's Infinite Birds. Say no to that. We'll go ahead and snap the Okiba Gang. Untap these. Play the Familiar. Make some birds. So, as long as they don't have some sort of board wipe here, I think we will win. <clears throat> Turn 11. We got really hosed in the early game by just not drawing any lands. But maybe a sketchy keep. They're at 21 life. I'm going to block a few times. I need like 30 birds. Right now I have 8 maybe? Yeah. All right, I have 28 birds now. I think that's fine. I realized that I should have done this on their end step, just in case uh, I have to do something else. Pestilence or Crypt Rats would be a really big problem. Limbus for the opponent. Oh, I forgot they're going to gain a bunch of life with the Limbuses. So they're going to gain up to 9 life, putting them to 30. 2, 2, 2. Cracks a clue. So they can go to 26 at this point. Magic Online is chugging like crazy with all these birds in play. Limbus. They go bottom with the Limbus. Don't think we're afraid of anything now. One, two. I have 29 birds. I'm going to go ahead and make another bird. It would be... I guess the worst case scenario is them to have... Um, suffocating Fumes. I should probably stop doing stuff. Hopefully they don't have Suffocating Fumes. Let's try to Ephemerate the Arcane Mancer to get back the Meeting of Mines. And then go ahead and cast it. That's going to resolve. Alright. Draw for turn. They scoop. Phew. Alright, if the game goes long, loose focus is going to lose a lot of value. So I'm just going to bring in quad counterspell and cut a ponder. Could also maybe bring in a nature's chant over one faithful. Or I could cut a snap. Since they're all value creatures. It's kind of snap. All right, this one we obviously don't have enough lands. Okay, I think I keep this, put back the counter spell, and then I'm just gonna try to run out a couple of familiars. I'm pretty far away from casting the counter spell, and if I can get the familiars in play, I can play the meaning of mines. Let's see if they castigate me again. We'll go ahead and grab our planes and pass the turn. Um. Hmm. Opponent, what? <laughs> they played a Tithing Blade on turn two. They just wanted to pick it up. They needed something to pick up, I guess. Cycle for an island. Play the Floodplain. I don't understand. I guess they just wanted to pick it up with a Hawk or something. All right, that's fine. So do I even run out the Familiar, or do I just evoke the Drifter then? They're just going to... Okay. What is happening? Okay. They pick up a land with their core skyfisher. They're just trying to go aggro on me. Let's evoke this drifter. 
Kind of disappointed not having the uh, counter spell now. Doodly doo. All right, we have a counter spell. So we can go familiar, hold counter spell for the tithing blade. And play another familiar, play medium mines. We are getting donked for four. It's pretty fast. We could snap the coarse guy fisher. They play the tithing blade again. All right. All right. I can dig it. Let's pass, I guess. It's nice that we gain that one life off the broker's hideout because it increases their clock by a full turn. Tithing blade meets a counter spell. Basilica picks up the swamp. A oh, planes, okay. So they're valuing having black men in play. I find a murmuring mystic. Okay. So let's go familiar. Probably should cycle this Lorien Revealed for a land. It would be greedy not to, actually. Play the land. Play the mystic. And let's Meeting of Minds. Draw. If we find another Meeting of Minds, we can just cast it. So we're insulated against Tithing Blade with my birdie. Although they could just cast down this guy. The Murmuring Mystic. <sighs> Three cards in hand. They play the planes. They attack for four. I'm going to take it. They could Okiba me. Looks like that's what they're going to do. So I'm going to discard land and snap. That way I have double cantrip. Make two birds. Get some more cards flowing. Try to find a mold drifter or something. Keeping Aang picks up the Glenhawk. So then they can the Glenhawk picking up the Tithing Blade. Alright, but I'm going to have some birds, so... Not too worried about the Tithing Blade right now. Meeting of Minds. Can preordain. Okay. Another meaning of mines. Top and top. Take the land. Let's peer it in again. Hmm. Now if I take the familiar, the meaning of mines cost me one mana. I guess I'm doing that. Play the familiar. Cast meaning of mines. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm passing here. They're gonna tithing blade me. Four mana. Play arms of Hadar. Okay, I'm going to cast my Meeting of Minds and block with my bird on the Okiba gang. Find a Moldrifter and a Familiar. Okay, let's see what happens. If I play out the Familiar, the Moldrifter costs one mana. It's not often that that happens. One mana Moldrifter. So I can Arcane Mancer for the Meeting of Minds. Actually, I probably just want the Lorien Revealed. Like, come on. Take the one that actually gives you more cards. Pass the turn. Holding up counter spell. And they can Tithing Blade. I'll just sacrifice the familiar. Now I have decent blocks. Maybe I should just counter spell the Tithing Blade? Yeah. Uh, okay. Just to get it away. Get another bird in play. Can double block the Skyfisher. Block here. Hmm. Okay, actually, I'm just going to sacrifice the one familiar and then uh, see what happens here. We're at four life. I did not realize that. That is a problem. Okay, so block and block. We're going to go to two life. If they flip another Okiba Gang, cast a Suffocating Fumes. Okay, so I actually can just counterspell that. Glad I kept that up. Glenhawk dies. They have one card in hand. I'm going to draw three cards now. Let's preordain first. Drifter Mystic. Top, top. Play a Mystic. We're going to cast the Lorien Revealed and draw three cards. Make two birds. The birds are coming. Play. Cast a Moldrifter for two mana. Looking for a Faithful, I guess? We have a flicker. All right. Uh, let's just chancery back the planes and swing. Your turn. We are, I guess, dead to something like. <laughs> we... <laughs> we... <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. 
We are dead to Sign in Blood. Five mana. That also is a problem. Flipping the Tithing Blade. But I can make infinite birds and then attack them. Let's see what they do. Do we win here? Right now we have... Uh, I don't know. So they have to block this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I only have to make 10 more birds. Maybe 11. Oh yeah, but I have double, double Mystic. That makes it easier. Nice end step birds win the game. Okay, I think I have enough birds now. My turn. And we'll go to attacks. Attack for 26 in the air. I scoop it up. On round five. Round five, round the play versus Galio Giao. All right. This. What does this do? Turn one Meyer, turn two cycle preordain. Kind of far from doing anything. I'm going to mulligan. Well, this is a good one to uh, put in the familiars discord for the mulligans. Just snip that one and go ahead and mulligan here. All right, this is a lot better. Keep, put back Ponder, play the Ash Barons, pass the turn. Part of the Familiars Discord, we're trying to do, uh, oh geez, Swamp, probably Gardens, play this, pick up the Ash Barons, cycle for an island. So I was going to say, we're, we're trying to do like a... Uh, Daily Mulligan Keeper Mole. Swamp again. So I have to save my loose focus for an emblem creature. Cast Preordain. Faithful Ponder. I'm gonna bottom the Faithful actually. Top the Ponder. Just go ahead and cast that. Bunch of lands. That's fine. I can pass now. So this next turn I can play Familiar and then I can snap it in response to a removal spell. Still have, okay, it, confirmed gardens. Well, I probably don't want to snap it in response to a removal spell. Just play out my island, <clears throat> pass the turn, and step meeting of minds. They play another go, uh, bounce land. Okay, cast meeting of minds, draw two cards. So we draw one island and one unknown, which is ends up being an ash barons. When it goes to clean up. Okay, let's play Island and Familiar. Pass the turn. They discarded Defile. We play Tithing Blade, I'll just snap the Familiar. The Garden's deck doesn't have any way to picking up the Tithing Blades. And if they have a removal spell in response to the snap, that is fine. I'm literally just trying to develop my mana while holding up counters for the stupid emblem. I do not want them to be able to resolve the initiative. At least not until we have a whole board presence. We really don't want them to be able to resolve Crypt Rats either, to be honest. Okay, untap. Tithing Blade resolves. They play a Swamp and pass. Let's cycle. Grabbing an Island again. Okay. Find a Counterspell now. It's pretty good. Play the Familiar. Play the island, pass the turn. So we have two ways to counter whatever they're doing. They're going to cast down the familiar. We can Mortuary and Mire, mire it back. Cycles a troll. And they're grabbing just a regular basic swamp. Gray Merchant, huh? Let's just lose focus the Gray Merchant. Pass the turn. So if this is Gray Merchant, it could just be like... Hmm. Might not be an initiative deck. I think I'm going to evoke this Muldrifter and then uh, pick it back up with the Mortuary Mire. Just go for maximum value instead of going for the uh, Familiar. I still have Counterspell. They cycle a troll. I would be much rather. I would much rather play against uh, Gray Merchant than anything else. Like <laughs> that's not that's not an initiative creature. Happy for me. So three, four, five, six. So let's just go ahead and go play Moldrifter. We can snap the Gray Merchant. It's probably not useful right now. I'm holding up Counterspell for Rats and Monarch at this point. 
Chainer's Edict. Okay, snap the Mold Drifter. They have a second. Oh, no, they're going to deadly dispute their Tithing Blade, looking for another removal spell. Reckoner's Bargain on the Treasure Token. Okay. Chainer's Edict resolves. And there's nothing to Edict away. Haha. -ha. They play a land. Looks like they're going to get in for two. This turn we can Faithful plus Mold Drifter. Play the Faithful. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to leave open the white mana in case I draw another island. I can like ephemerate. Could also just preordain here. I think I just want to hold up ephemerate plus counterspell. I can easily just block the gray merchant with my faithful. Another tithing blade. Okay. You can eat my mold drifter. I want to keep my faithful in play just because of the Gray Merchant, let's keep blocking it. How many? So we lost one Familiar and one Muldrifter and a Lose Focus. Yep, that's getting countered. Not today. Not today. Still have Ephemerate. The Reckoner's Bargain the Tithing Blade. Now they could have free spells like Snuff Out, stuff like that. Reordain. Let's see if I can find an Arcane Answer. Familiar's good. Play Familiar. Then I'm going to go Drifter, Snap, Drifter, which is going to be mana neutral, draw two cards. Drifter, Snap on the Drifter, get to untap. Okay, do it again. Evoke this Mold Drifter. We're gaining a bunch of life. Gray Merchant's not really mattering. Now we can Meeting of Minds. <laughs> Zero mana. Snap the Mold Drifter. Untap. Let's see what is on top. Ponder. Another Mold Drifter and a Chancery and a Preordain. Okay. I feel like I might have drawn too many cards now. No Shuffle. Let's cast this Mold Drifter. Draw some more cards. Play the Chancery, picking up the Island. And then I have to discard two cards to hand size. So I think it's going to be Island and Preordain. Although I don't know if I have that many basics left in the deck. They can still Chainer's Edict me. Plays an Icker Wellspring. Four, five, six, seven. They have seven mana right now, so they can Edict me. If they Edict me, I think I get rid of the Faithful. Ah, <sighs> Crypt Rats. Okay. You're gonna crack it for four? No. Just for three. All right. <clears throat> so we can. Hiding blade. All right, fine. Let's cycle for an island. We're going to get in for two. We can flicker the mortuary mire to get back the faithful or whatever. Let's see what's on top of the deck. I'm going to bottom these. I'm looking for an arcane answer so I can lock them. Okay. Arcane answer. Get back counter spell. Let's just ephemerate. Get back. Meeting of Minds, I guess. Play Island. Pass the turn. I do want to flicker the Arcane Mancer and the Mortuary Mire to get back my Familiar and get back my Faithful. They have two cards in hand. The Fanatical Offering the Wellspring, making a map token. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight mana. Okay. They draw a card off the Methodic Draught. Mephitic? I don't know. Wellspring. So they're chaining. Good for them. You can defile the, the Mancer. Let's just flicker. Get back flicker. Defile is going to fizzle. They bid you bog me. Okay. So they were trying to get rid of my counter spell. But now I don't have. Hmm. They're going to map on the Grey Merchant. They find a fanatical offering. Okay. I can't afford to tap out because I have to hold up Counterspell. Mm -hmm. We're at 17. I still have three Faithfuls left in the deck and two Familiars. Ephemerate. Get back Ephemerate. Draw for turn. I don't need this upkeep stop anymore. Let's Cleric away the Edict. I'm going to evoke this Mold Drifter. Meeting of Minds. 
and a land. Okay. I think I just let that Moltresher die and then play my Murmuring Mystic. Pass the turn. Discard a Lorien Revealed. I've got plenty of card draw. They're going to Fanatical Offering the Wellspring. So I'm looking out for Crypt Rats now. I don't care about Thorn anymore because I'm going to be able to deal with Thorn. Five mana for a Grey Merchant. Okay. So it's going to be a bunch of damage. We go to 11. Five mana for another Grey Merchant. Okay, I'll counterspell that one. Make a bird. Spending Darkness on my Arcane Answer. Okay. I'm going to... Okay, good. Faithful. Play Arcane Answer. Get back to Counterspell. Uh, attack with a bird. I think I still have some islands left on the deck, so I might as well cycle DeLorean. Or do I want to just cast DeLorean? I'm going to cycle it. Grab my last island. Pass the turn. They have two cards left in hand. Uh, okay, I'm going to Counterspell now. They try to cast a Deadly Dispute. I Counterspell, so they get to Cantrip. Got to yield to these things. Two cards in hand now. I still have Counterspell, Counterspell with my Ephemerate. They map, finding a Swamp. They get a Swamp in hand. Five mana. I'm going to flip the Tithing Blade. Okay. They're going to... No attacks. Lots of Ephemerate. Actually, in response, Medium Mines. Find a Familiar. Get back to Counterspell. Draw for turn. Ephemerate's going to make another bird. Wee! So now the birds are just taking over. Is this win more? I don't know. It, it feels win more, but it's still fun. Okay, now we have infinite birds. Familiar. Ponder. Oh, I actually messed up here. Let me flicker to get back my Arcane Answer. Okay, Arcane Answer on top here. So now I'm not shuffling with the Ponder no matter what. Nice, extra birds. No shuffle. We cast the Arcane Answer. Then grab the Meaning of Mines. Cast it. Draw on some birds. Lay my Faithful here. And I will attack you. So now we're like pretty pretty behind on clock, which is sad. But we're definitely winning this game. Just have to get to the point where we win. I think I'm not going to try to loop on this turn because I already have double counterspell protection. And if I put another Murmuring Mystic in play, it's extra damage. So let's just draw. Mystic. Attack for eight. I should probably just play out the Barons. Your turn. They're at 17. We have eight. They're going to go to 18. Let's flicker the two Arcane Answers. Oh, the triggers. I'm going to get back Meeting of Minds and Flicker. Then cast Meeting of Minds. What's cool is that you can tap the two Arcane Answers for Meeting of Minds. I'm looking for another snap. We have one, two, three, four. Okay, we don't have any more snaps in the deck. So that's a mistake. Let's just flicker this one then. Make a bunch of birds and attack for lethal. <laughs> We have to get to that point though. Back to flicker. Flicker the creature again. You can see just how much time this is taking. Unreal amounts of time. Do to do, do. Our opponents use like, what, seven minutes of clock? We've used tons. It's not like I'm taking my time either. Okay. Is that enough? Whatever. Let's do it one more time. Okay. This should be enough. 12 minutes on clock, so we've used half of our entire clock now. Okay, draw. Attack phase. Attack for 20. So I have two counter spells. I can go counter spell, ephemerate, counter spell. Counter spell your deadly dispute. Anything else? Trying to be pretty wise with the clock usage. Okay, we got there. Negative two. Let's check the process usage. We're only at 1500 so it's not that empty geo is lagging it's just that we're taking a lot of actions we had too many triggers so we want the counter spells 
Take loose focus as medium. Maybe two, three counter spell, two loose focus. You can trim on snap. Trim on a faith. Well, we don't really need the Domir cleric, but we probably do want the nature's chance. Let's trim on a ponder. We have five answers to the monarch. We should be okay. Okay, let's do this. Twelve minutes on clock. Keep. Island ponder go. The rest. So we can take the counter spell. Or the ponder. Let's go land pass. Dress is definitely good for me because it's a waste of time for them. They used a card to take my cantrip. Island pass. Pass the turn. We play a Kumbaj Witches. Play the Chancery. Pass the turn. They're going to deadly dispute it. Kumbaji. Okay, one to you, I guess. Yeah, they're pinging me for one. They're going to deadly dispute the Witches. So they're saying next turn they're going to play the Monarch or a five drop. We'll just play our island, pass the turn. Five mana. They do nothing. Land, pass the turn. Hmm. I was too slow on trying to counter that. Deadly Dispute, let's lose focus that. They're at six cards in hand. Plays an Icar Wellspring. All right. We're still holding the uh, Counterspell for the Monarch. Double Counterspell now. Island, pass the turn. Next turn, I'm going to go evoke Moldrifter, Mortuary Mire back to Moldrifter. Deadly Dispute for the opponent. I already f 6 so that resolves. They certainly have drawn cards. Seven cards in hand. Monarch. They're going to cast a Grey Merchant. Do I care about that? I guess so. Counter. Uh oh. Control Bug. Okay, counter the Monarch. I mean, not Monarch. That was just Grey Merchant. My bad. Okay. Play. Land. Play Familiar. Play another Familiar. How many removal spells do you think they have in hand? Like 16? Plays a Crypt Rats. Let's Counterspell. We're going to Witch's Cottage back the Crypt Rats. Okay. Play Thorn of the Black Rose. So now they have their engine online. Let's Drifter Ephemerate. Evoke the Moldrifter. Ephemerate the Moldrifter. Okay, cast Medium Mines. Alright, play Faithful. So they have six mana. So I can tax them six. Hmm. Play my Faithful. Play my land. Six, so it costs three. One, two, three, four, five. We might be able to counterspell the Crypt Rats if they just slam it right now. Okay, replicate. Three or two. Then we just say same targets here. Of course, they could have a removal spell for the Mold Drifter. Then we can Mortuary Mire back the Mold Drifter, ponder into it. Another Crypt Rats. Let's see if they crack. They are going to crack the rats. Okay. So the Ephemerate goes on a random creature. We're going to go Mortuary Mire, get back the Mold Drifter. And then, I guess we just go familiar, cast this, draw three cards, play a faithful, play a mold drifter. Your turn. We are drawing lots of cards. We get our answer for ephemerate for counterspell next turn. Two mana for the opponent. They kill the mold drifter. Plays a tithing blade. It's going to eat a familiar, I guess. Two mana. I'm going to kill another familiar. A fanatical offering the tithing blade. Two mana still. It plays an Icar Wellspring. Okay, so. <sighs> Arcane Answer. Uh huh. Get back Ephemerate. Play Ephemerate. Get back the Counterspell. Play the Chancery. Pick up this land. And then I have to pass, I think. Now I'm looking for a Mystic. Just finish the game. One mana. Duress. Counterspell. Pass the turn. We deadly dispute the Wellspring. We go back to 25 life with the Faithfuls. We have five, six mana available. No attacks. Reckoner's Bargain. And they just sacrifice their map token, I think. 
<sighs> Bajukabog. So two counter spells, lose focus, lose focus. So we have one counter spell left in the deck. Oh, that's annoying. The Binding Crypt Rats. The Ephemerate, the Arcane Answer. Get back the Ephemerate. Ponder, looking for my loose focus. Find a flicker. I do want the flicker. Let's preordain. Bottom, top this. Draw three cards. Okay, let's draw some more cards. All right. Cycle. Grab an island. Play the island. Just snap the Crypt Rats. Are they really going to crack it right now? That would be awesome. Okay. Thank you, I guess. Let's preordain. I guess they have another way to get it back right now. Meaning of Minds and Preordain. Pass the turn. Cycle's a troll. I get uh, the Witch's Cottage back, the rats. Ugh. Reckoner's Bargain. Okay. I play the Crypt Rats. I'm going to crack the Crypt Rats. Bam it for four. Okay. So I can upkeep Flicker to get back a familiar. Flicker. Get back the familiar. Draw for turn. Play familiar. Play land. Play arcane answer. Get back the flicker. Let's cast meaning of minds. Beardane. Bottom. Yes, that's fine. Flicker back the other arcane answer. <clears throat> Pass the turn. We have six minutes on clock. Oh, jeez. Plays a Tithing Blade. We will get rid of the Familiar. In case they have Bajukabog. So plays another. Plays an Edict. Okay. No Bajukabog. Kumbaj Witches. Plays Grey Merchant. Okay. Draw for turn. Play Arcane Answer. Get back. I don't know, meaning mines. Let's cast medium well. Flicker here. Get back to familiar. Cast the meaning of mines. Play a land. Play the familiar. We can't block right now because the gray merchant will deal two damage and then the witch can pick it off. There's another gray merchant. <coughs> There's another gray merchant. Okay, so next turn is my turn to win the game. Picks up the Bajukabog. So we have to get back the Fate Familiar this turn. They ping me one. Are you going to attack? I'm afraid you... They would have pinged the Familiar if they had the Defile. Just going to block. <clears throat> Flicker here. Get back Flicker. Get back Familiar. Yes. Okay. Draw. Play the Familiar. Meaning of Minds. Okay. Faithful. Now I have infinite life. Preordain. Bottom and bottom. Looking for birds. There it is. Play the Murmuring Mystic. Ah. Gary. Get back to Flicker. Do it again. I guess I should probably... Hmm. I'm not really sure like what the fastest way to do this is. Getting rid of the Faithful would probably be the fastest. Broker's Hideout. Are there any islands left? Yes. Okay, let's just pass the turn. Annoying. Relic for the opponent. Okay. Which is Cottage to get back what? Get back the Crypt Rats. Okay, I'll kill the Relic in response. Makes me exile an Ash Barons. I think I'm just going to time out here. Too many bird triggers. Ugh. Yep. Place an Icker Wellspring to get back the rats. Okay. Flicker to put back the uh, Arcane Answer. Holy moly. We're going to time out. This is very sad. Playing in Crypt Rats. Passing the turn. Okay. Then a Flicker. They're going to crack for how much? Come on, dude. What a jerk. Activates rats for zero. OK, 
Get back, snap. This is why nobody li nobody likes you, man. What a jerk. For real. Snap your rat. Do you want to activate it for zero a hundred times? That's cool. That's, I'm sorry. I should. I'm cool. Jerk. Arcane answer. Get back, flicker. Play mole drifter. Flicker back. The mystic. That's the turn. Hey, we're the monarch. Cool. Fighting blade. Kills my birdie. Kill the mole drifter. Cycle for whatever. Uh, let's F6. I'm gonna get back my arcane answer. You can tell I'm stressing. Play murmuring mystic. Play arcane answer. Get back meeting of minds. Ephemerate that this. The jerk. Get back snap. Cast meeting of minds. Play this. Flicker here. Get back the familiar. Pass the turn. Pass the turn again. We play the thorn of the black rose. Gray merchant apparently. Are they gonna flip the thing? Flips the tithing blade. What costs six mana? Plays a troll of cause of doom. Sure. Ugh. Well, this has been quite a bummer. I very dislike this opponent, but uh, you know, so you can see here, this is kind of like why the illusions are a problem. This costs you a ton of time. We're just going to go ahead and concede the match. All right. Thanks for sticking around. We'll see you in the next video.